flowers. We were brainstorming ways that we could pique the students' interest to be more involved in nature in this wonderful place that we have uh, here at Heritage. And we naturally thought one of the ways to do that was through technology, something that the students are naturally drawn to. So we put together uh, a whole program using augmented reality from Erasma. We have about 500 images that are enabled to automatically be recognized by the iPad, iPhone, or other smart device to then play a video we have selected. We have the indoor learning center for cold and rainy weather so that they can learn about nature year round. And of course, the outdoor garden, which they love to explore. The garden is segmented into the 10 climate zones of Texas, from the Gulf Coast with the sand on the ground, to the Trans-Pecos with all the yuccas and cacti. I've learned tons of different plants and animals in the different regions that I didn't even know were, um, that lived in Texas, and they're really interesting. With budget cuts coming, we can't take the kids out to the LB grasslands or down to the Trans-Pecos. But with the technology and on your iPad, it can whisk you right there. In the Piney Woods of Northeast Texas is a place equally rich in history, biodiversity, and scenic beauty, Caddo Lake. I think it's really creative that, that we should have iPads and stuff to do this instead of just inside watching a video. More, a lot more fun to get out here and actually look at all the stuff. We always want to teach good citizenship and you know we can talk about things like recycling, we can talk about things about preserving nature when they can walk out here and they can see uh, the effects of the decisions that they make and and I think in educating the whole child uh, these are important factors that go into that. The more trees you chop down the less oxygen that you have to breathe. Lots of the animals of Texas are endangered. I think that we need to start protecting the animals so they don't get endangered or even extinct like dinosaurs. The partnership with the Texas Master Naturalist has been the absolute key with us for this project. Without their hundreds, literally, and thousands of hours of, of donated time and volunteer work. Uh, we wouldn't have the expertise, we wouldn't have the, the plants in the right place, and we would have all kinds of issues, but through their help and the help of the PTA volunteers, um, this project has really taken off.